And you remember that one of the first things she said is, if you expect me to make cookies. <laughs> I watched her show what it was like to be a woman in stress, in difficulty. I watched her as she was on the front pages of every journal in the world, and I watched her stand. And what is exciting and, for me, humbling is that this contest that I'm engaged in with Senator Obama exemplifies that. Neither of us were written into the Constitution. Neither of us would have had an opportunity to be doing what we are doing today. And because of what we are doing, I honestly believe we have broken one of those invisible barriers that never again will any little boy or girl in America not believe that he or she, black, white, brown, whatever, mm -hmm. cannot grow up to be president. Because that is now over. We have created that possibility in this moment of time. When George Bush became president, oil was $20 a barrel. Now it is $110 plus a barrel. In the last seven years, there has been a, an explosion of global trading in energy futures that I think is affecting the supply and the cost of fuel. Okay. I would, as president, immediately launch investigations through the Department of Justice, the Federal Trade Commission, to try to determine what, if any, market manipulation and price gouging is going on. We won't get serious until the two oil men leave the White House. Everybody knows that. That's not going to happen. So. And here comes a microphone. Thank you. Hillary, um, I love you. <laughs> I always have and I always will and I felt so sorry for you when you know Bill had his affair and I know nobody wants to talk about it but I felt That's very sorry and uh, but I think now the best way to overcome it is to become president Thank you. Thank you. I and also but my question is that's not my question my question is uh, uh, who do you want to uh, pick as your running mate? Oh, no. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well. Did, did who, it, wait down. Wait, let the audience hear. Who, After who all. I, I, I can't answer the question, who do I want to pick as my running mate, because I'm not the nominee. And both um, Senator Obama and I have said on several occasions that uh, it's presumptuous and premature. But my overriding goal is to make sure we take back the White House. And that is what I will do, whatever it takes to get that done. Thank you. Thank you.